I have xeroderma pigmentosum, which sometimes leads to cancer. Knowing this, I avoided sunlight because I can't protect myself from mutations from UV light. And because I avoided sunlight, I have helped to prevent cancer from developing. I wasn't as careful. I didn't listen and I often went out into the sunlight even though I knew as your twin I had xeroderma pigmentosum as well. As a result of this interaction between my genes and the environment of extra sunlight, I did develop skin cancer. I was born with phenylketonuria, PKU, and because I wasn't immediately put on a special diet which lacked the amino acid phenylalanine, toxic byproducts build up in my brain causing mental deficits. I was also born with PKU, but because I was put on a special diet after being diagnosed at birth, a diet which lacked phenylalanine, these toxic byproducts did not build up and I'm fine. I did not suffer the ill effects of PKU because of the interaction between the gene and my modified diet. I have a form of the gene DRD2 which seems to facilitate addiction to drugs in that more people addicted to drugs have my form of DRD2 than would otherwise be expected. But since I never took drugs, I never became addicted to them. My inability to make alcohol dehydrogenase could easily result in alcoholism because I can't break down alcohol well. But since I don't take alcohol regularly, I never became an alcoholic. I have a form of the cytochrome P450 enzymes, which is often associated with an easier addiction to cigarettes. And unfortunately, I took to smoking and I became addicted. And so, there seems to be an interaction between genes and environment, but because I provided a bad environment, this interacted with my genetic predisposition for addiction. The OCE gene I have, which is helping to determine the pigmentation of my hair, is a temperature sensitive mutation which interacts with the temperature of the environment on a certain region of the body. So my hair is a light yellow. The hair on my arm is a reddish brown. The hair in my armpits is white. My pubic hair is a light brown and the hair on my legs is a dark brown. I do not possess genes for each of these shades but rather a genetic mutation which interacts with the environment to determine phenotype.